This tutorial is designed to cover the basics of animating in Photoshop, so if you've never used the animation feature in Photoshop before and you're looking to just get your feet wet with something simple, this is definitely the one for you. So I'm going to start here and try to animate this circle, and it's kind of designed to be like a website loading animation. I have it way bigger than I would if that's what I was doing, just to show it a little bit easier. So I have four different layers here, each with its own frame, and each frame will be a new frame in the animation. So I want to have this little gray section here kind of seamlessly translate as if it was like a loading screen that's spinning around. So to start out, we're going to open up the animation frame, and to do that, and I'm using CS6, and I believe it's this way in CS6 or above, anything older, this won't really apply to. So you're going to want to go to Window, and then Timeline. And this will bring up the timeline window, and it has a little thing right here where you can either hit create frame animation, or there's a drop down arrow to create video timeline. I'm not going to cover the video timeline in this, we're just going to do a simple frame animation. So make sure you hit this down arrow, select that if it isn't already selected, and then hit this button right here to create the frame animation. So you can see right here, it starts with the number one, and this is our first frame. And we have four different layers here that we're going to animate, so I want to make four frames. So I'm going to go right here and hit this new page button until I have four total different frames. And each one of these frames is a frame in our animation. So to start out in the first frame right here, we're going to select number one. So this is active currently. And we want our first frame selected here. And you can do this with any number of frames or layers in your actual layer palette here. So you can mix and match like 10 different layers if that's what you want to do. I have each different animation on its own layer just to make it really easy to show right here. But basically when you have this selected in your frame palette, it'll remember what layers you have on and off and that's what it will show. And I'm going to hit the second one right here and this will be our second frame. So I don't want the frame one selected. I'm going to pop that off and turn on frame two. So if I cycle between one and two here, you can see it remembers what layer I selected and it just has those showing. And once again, you can have this with a bunch of different layers turned on. I'm just doing this with one to keep it going nice and easy. So for layer number three here, I'm gonna turn off frame one, turn on frame three, and do the same when I select this to number four, turn off frame one and turn on frame four. So I'm gonna select this right here. You can see it says once by default with a little down arrow. It's right here in the lower left. You can do it once, three times or forever and that's for looping it. You can also select other and have it loop as many times as you want it to and you can select and just type in whatever you want. I want this to loop forever since this will be essentially a loading animation and I'm gonna hit the play button right here and it just says plays animation. Go ahead and hit that. You can see it's going crazy crazy fast. So I'm gonna hit the stop button. And we're gonna want to go into our frames here and select a delay. When you have your layer selected here there's a down arrow and by default it's on zero seconds. We're gonna hit that down arrow and we're going to set a delay. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a delay here from the drop down and select one second delay on each one of these different animation frames. All right, and I'm going to hit the play button once again so you can kind of see how it looks. This is a bit too slow, but you can see it's now looping with a nice little delay here so it's not just crazily going about it. I'm going to very quickly just drop these down to a half second each and that should probably be good for what we're trying to achieve here. Hit play again. Uh, this is good enough for me. You can select whatever delay time you want in other for custom, and you could also have one be like a half second and then make this one 10 seconds if you want. Depends on what you're trying to achieve with your animation. But this is looking pretty good for what I want, and once again when I hit play you can see this is nicely looping right here. So to export our animation, we're going to want to go to File, and then Save for Web. And we're going to create an animated GIF, so from the drop down right up here under the type, I'm going to select GIF. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm not going to worry about these other settings for quality too much since this is just a test here. Select the folder where you want to save this and you can name it whatever you want and just hit save. And now I've loaded up this GIF in Chrome here so you can see this animation going. So you can see it's really easy to do. It's pretty darn quick. And animated in Photoshop is definitely a very deep thing that you can go very far into and really experiment and play around with. So this is just the very surface of understanding the basics of creating frames and kind of working within that. So hopefully this video was helpful to you and if it was, please like and favorite. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I do my best to keep new content coming every week. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.